Okay. Uh, today we again have another dead MacBook. This is a MacBook Air uh, model A1466. Uh, it's water damage and uh, I'll try to speak in English. Uh, probably Taglish because uh, uh, some of my friends who are actually uh, uh, watch the first video that I made uh, actually don't understand what I've uh, been talking about because uh, mostly I've been speaking in Tagalog that time and uh, today I'll try as much as possible as I can to speak everything everything could be in English so probably I'll still be saying some Tagalog words but uh hopefully i don't get my tongue tied and uh uh have my uh vocabulary actually went kaput okay uh let's see we can start by checking the uh unit i'll switch to my other camera Let's see. Okay. Uh, let me turn off the light. So it's not. doesn't blend anybody else uh, just me <laughs> all right uh, let me plug in the power supply and it's taking 130 milliamps and there's no light on the charger it's dead now it's zero zero it's taking nothing so let's check what's wrong with this uh, I'll try to open this up and uh, hopefully hopefully we can uh, actually fix this one yeah, but uh, by looking at the voltages that uh, the power supply is uh, actually uh, displaying it is actually one of those uh, MacBook Airs that is actually totally damaged and probably uh, the problem would be either the BIOS or the CPU itself. Uh, let me just open this up. When doing something, uh, sometimes I tend to like not to speak or say something about what I'm doing. Uh, I'm not used to doing these uh, videos and look at that. What a damage. And uh, by the looks of it, uh, we'll just try to assume. I'll assume that this is actually dead and irreparable but let's see turn on the lights uh, let's see how deep the damage is uh, let me just put on the microscope scope all right I'll turn this around yeah. 
me get that in focus for you. This fan. Let's see. The maybe it will be different if I actually. Uh, nah, it won't be. So there's no fan spin. The there's a lot of the liquid damage. See. This means a lot of water damage. You can see that uh, it's not focused. There you go. There you go. And the this is the CPU. It's hairy. It's dirty. Uh, but probably might still survive ah uh -huh. but this one this is the cpu v core and look at that look at that may not may not survive look at that there's so much this is uh just in from the cpu v core actually producing the voltage for the CPU uh, JTAG and uh, let me just remove SSD and remove also some of the uh, let's remove the board itself and see how it goes battery is popping out and there's like so much dirt in here in there everywhere the let's remove the battery the SSD and remove everything else I could also see some corrosion on the backlight circuit. It's everywhere. I think uh, they soak it with like uh, probably a soup or uh, it's not just a regular water damage. It's uh, something sticky, something smelly. I could uh, actually smell it from here. It uh, smell like something burned and uh, foul odor, like a rotten egg or something. But, uh, let me remove everything. Smell so bad. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's just remove all the connectors. Battery is gone. Small connector gone. Push out this connector as well. 
Okay, gone. This one. Gone. That's for the fan. That's for the power. Uh, this one. So. Okay, let's see. It's loose. Loose enough that we can remove it. Still stuck. Okay, there you go. Oh, there's still one screw in there. The DC inboard screw. Doesn't want to go out. Alright. Let's leave this in here and this one in here. And. Put it on the side for now. Right. Let's see. I don't like this uh, rubber thing. I removed it. This. All right. Let's see now. Let's put on the microscope. Let's see if there's any difference. Uh, okay. I'll try to power it up. See if it spins or what. There you go. It's taking nothing. Zero zero. Uh, eighteen point six volts. Zero 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 amps, and no light on the charger. You can see fans that spinning. Okay, let's check the board oh 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 it won't cause I have the cable right here let me that's so stupid of me okay let me do this again here we go Cable is here. I forgot I unplugged the cable, so again, bam, still no light on the charger, no fan spin, cable is a touch, and we should start looking at the board. So, whenever we plug in the the charger or the power supply sometimes uh, board gets more fucked up that uh, than it is uh, actually is so we may burn some components as well by doing so repeatedly plugging in the charger okay uh, let's check out the diagram this, this is uh, Eight two zero 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 one six five board as uh, it says here. Let me there you go. Eight two zero 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 one six five. That's A. Okay, and let's switch to the desktop. There you go. Uh, we need to check the power first, so let's see. We have to look for the power aliases and uh, before actually the MacBook. What? There's. Click this button to keep re streaming recording. Uh, click the no button to stop streaming recording. What the fuck? Yes. Uh, the connection is lost. Your stream recording session is still running on the background. 
uh, whenever you're ready, click OK button below to end your stream recording and relaunch the application. Okay, it seems that uh, uh, something got fucked up on the connection. Uh, I have to like restart. Okay, I think we're back. That was what the fucked up. I had to restart my computer and uh, turn back everything on. The multimeter, everything. So I had to temporarily shut it down so I could uh, restart Streamlabs and uh, do the recording again. Okay, let's get back to the what we're doing okay this is the fucked up board all right same board so let's see uh oh my goodness uh this is all from the cpu side i just hope that uh no water or no liquid has gotten into the uh, CPU that is like this like soup or something this because this is like sticky or something it's not just a regular liquid like water or something or uh, soft drinks it's like soup it's disgusting like this one this one the cpu v core uh this is one of the the important uh, components because uh what actually what this do is actually uh turn 12 volts into one point something volts uh, oh my god uh, I, I think uh, some of the liquid has actually gotten into the CPU already. But we would never know until we try to fix this one. And there's so much dirt. So much. So much liquid damage. See, see. Here you go my goodness this is actually one of the most uh or probably the most disgusting board that i've ever seen uh lock circuit everything even the one the wireless uh, yes, my screwdriver. We got my screwdriver. Let's remove this. I purchased this uh, uh, kind of magnet that uh, it's just it's, uh, the strongest magnet there is. Uh, it is strong. It is. All right. Uh, let's get this out. Okay. That's good. The wireless card is actually like kaput. So much, so much liquid damage in there. So we'll try to clean that off. Let's see. I hope we can still use this one. We can just like try to clean it up there you go so much under
This component, uh, the SSD, the wireless card, CPU. I actually don't like to heat it up because uh, sometimes it will get more more damage than actually repairing it. But uh, hey, what can you do? Uh, we have to try and repair this one. Uh, this is the JTAG and the. Uh, we may have to remove that okay let's get back to uh, the schematics let me open this one come on okay switch to desktop okay uh, we need to find uh, let me move this microscope on the side uh we need to find the power aliases or the power rails that needs to be checked uh in the old macbook uh you can actually see the power rails uh on the first few pages of the schematics but uh, uh it's apple usually they put it somewhere hidden and with this one, it should be on this one, page, what is this, 62, nice, right? Okay, let me, this is the power aliases, as you can see, uh, where, where are you, power aliases, right? Let's check everything. Let's get the power supply ready. First one should be. Uh, let me open up the board view as well. Uh, this one. This is the uh, board view for the A two zero 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 one six five motherboard. And we need to check first is the PV bus G3 hot. Then here we have to search it. Where could you find this PV bus G3 hot? It's on the other side of the board. what I don't like about this okay PP bus G3 hot we can find it here use 7140 and it should be let me plug this in and it should be scope okay it should be somewhere that's one right get my multimeter this cable is actually like everything is twisted right let's check ground then PP bus is the pin number two, which is this one. And uh, as you can see, it's 8.59, 8.6. 8 8.6 means uh, that the uh, SMC is still alive. Because uh, if PP bus G3 hot is uh, like 8. Point uh, one six eight point less than eight point two. It means that the SMC or the system management controller is actually not talking to the ISL. Okay, uh, let's check the other rails, which is. 
I'm getting old. Let me get my glasses. Okay. Uh, next is PP Bus S5 HS Computing. Search just one. And you can find it. Well, probably not that one. Probably some easier, this one. And this will be this capacitor. Fuck again. What's happening? An error occurred. See? Fucking hell. An error occurred which has caused Streamlabs OBS to, co to close. Don't worry. Uh, nah. Uh, we start again I don't know they, there's probably something uh, stopping this uh, video uh, I don't know what is but uh, this might there might be a, like a software conflict or driver conflict or what but uh, uh, I have to uh, again uh, probably shut down the computer and then uh, try to power it up again. Okay, let me just do that. Okay, I'll start the recording again. I don't know what the hell is happening with this uh, computer because uh, as soon as I finish replacing the parts and uh, making this uh, thing work, recording stops. So I'm just going to put back this heatsink. I just replaced the heatsink, CPU heatsink. And recheck again. And uh, I'll just explain later what uh, actually happened or what I did. <clears throat> Let's check again. Where's the power supply here? And let's see if it still works. It still works. Time spins. But the problem is the problem is i don't know why what in the world is happening because uh, it's working the fan is spinning but i get no light on the charger see there's no light on the charger i don't know if you can see that let me turn off the light first there you go see there's no light on the charger Fan spinning. It's working perfectly. It's fine. Let's check the CPU V core if it's present. One amp. CPU V core is right here. One point zero five. It's present. I'm still not getting any lights on the charger. I don't know why. It's probably my DC inboard is fucked up also. I'll try cleaning that up. I'll just try and clean this one out. But uh, I still have some problems with the as you can see, let me put on the scope, so you can actually clearly see everything. Take my glasses off. Oh my goodness. And scope. Okay. 
look at this look at this focus there you go this is the backlight circuit backlight circuit is it has been really damaged by the water the, the, that indicator right there the red one uh, it's a water damage indicator the when it turns red it means that the water has gotten into the machine and uh, if you can see right there there's still like dirt in here I've locked stuff uh, some of the components but uh, it seems like see backlight fuse Uh, usually the in MacBook Airs uh, backlight fuse rarely almost never blows so let's check you can see the, the fuse right there continuity see I told you oh you cannot see that but you can hear it uh, I think you can There you go. Beeping mode. And the fuse. It works. See? Uh, we'll just try to like clean up some of the. Put some flux on it. Clean it up a bit and uh, test if. The backlight is okay if everything works so let me just put some flux and hit it up a little here you go this side this this one this one right here uh, I don't know if I should replaced this one but uh, let me just clean it up first if in case there is no display then I will so usually when the backlight fuse doesn't blows up it's actually the connector So let me just put some flux on it. Flux actually not just uh oh my goodness uh, I'm inhaling all the fumes. Sorry about that. Sorry about the noise, but uh, I don't want to like inhale all of those fumes. I forgot to turn on the fume extractor. good let me just touch up a bit on the components Not supposed to happen. Oh my goodness. Where are you? Uh, 
uh, probably have the worst hand in soldering. It's like my hands are like shaking. But I need to make sure that uh, everything is looking nice. noisy film extractor off and check the other part of the board here yeah, is okay it's okay the this is the backlight actually I think it's good the balls looks good as you can see this is the thunderbolt area Hmm. SMC. Okay. It's time to see if it works or not. I'll try to assemble this one now. Oh. Again, somebody's at the door. I don't know who. <laughs> Turn this thing away. See if I can fast forward and assemble this. Hey, as you can see, it's still like so dirty. I haven't uh, cleaned up anything. Also, the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is like trash. SSD probably is still usable. Probably. Oh my goodness. Uh, I need to clean this up a bit before putting it back. So everything is so like, oh my goodness, so dirty. This is just 99.9 uh, uh, alcohol. Just trying to wipe some of this dirt. Oh my goodness. Everywhere. It's everywhere. But anyway, uh, let me just. Reassemble and test this one out. See if it still works or not. Lock this one up. Let's see. It's just a test, so let's see. It doesn't want to open. <laughs> okay. Let's see, where's the charger? Let's 
I didn't plug in the battery yet, so it's just uh, and spin. Come on. The, the dong. There you go. Display. Come on. Give me something. Nothing. There you go. Flashing folder. So it's done. It's working. Backlight's working. Display is working. The image is working. Okay, let me just explain what I did. Uh, it's, uh, the desktop. Before I finish this uh, uh, this video, what I did was actually uh, I check all the rails. Uh, I end up with this uh, a U eighty one thirty that uh, I replaced. let's get back to the it was actually missing this rail and, uh, oh I'll close this one up and explain everything better next 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 there you go. Uh, I checked everything to PM Sleep S4L. Let's copy that one. Not that one. Not that one. There you, there you go. And then this one. Paste. Okay. All the rails are actually uh, present uh, when I uh, check the power rails. Uh, which is actually on page uh, 62 let me check uh, this is page 54 page 62 let's go there there you go I have checked like from PP bus G3 hot to PP bus S5 HS computing ISN it's present, present, everything is present until I get to the point where it is this uh, PP5V underscore S4RS3. It's uh, missing. So what I did was actually look where this rail is being created and it actually is created this is uh, coming in so it's not that one this is going into that powering this chip so it's not that one this is coming out from a connector so it's not that one and it's coming from this chip this chip the 7501 but the problem is we cannot say that uh, this chip is actually at fault until we test that uh, it is being uh, told to turn on. And uh, there are actually two ways to 
to check that first is actually the input power which is this one voltage in the v in which is coming from this and going that and this and this one pp bus s5 hs other is ns is the one powering up this ic and we've checked that i've checked that earlier and it's a uh, good next one is it being told to turn on so enable is it being enabled so i trace this one this line and it's going it's coming from this this power rail and this power rail is being created by This. we're looking for this one and it's being created by this one p5 vs4 rs3 enable rc which is being powered by s4 and pm slip s4l so i've checked pm slip s4l on the board view which is missing so i look this up again where this rail is being created and i ended up in here the cpu so it's coming out from the cpu and i cannot uh, actually say that uh, the cpu is 100 percent at fault when so the cpu itself is also a chip that uh, if you don't actually power it up and uh, don't actually have all the right uh, signals coming in it won't actually send out any of this it's, as you can actually uh, see here the rails on the right part is actually output all output except for this one and uh, here the rails here are input mostly input so before you have this one the output here you have to have the inputs here uh, first i check smc adapter enable because this is an input i didn't check uh, pm battery low because uh, of course the battery is uh, disconnected and i have uh, no use for the battery until the uh, motherboard itself actually turns on so i check the smc adapter enable it works uh, next one i check the pm uh, power button low and uh, it works it's, it's press yeah, it is actually present on the board uh, i didn't check this one because this is coming out so i check this one the pm rsm uh something something and uh it's not present so uh i looked for this one hmm? where is it being created all right it is being created by this chip right here the 8130 u8130 which i replaced where is that chip the... <laughs> let me show you the chip this one right here that is the one I replaced too tiny too tiny 
Right. <clears throat> Let's get back to the desktop. Turn this thing off. Right. I replaced that one because uh, I checked the voltage input, which is a PP3B3S5, and it's present. S5 is present. And uh, the sustain, the send circuit, PP3V3 sustain, is uh, actually present as well. And this three is actually like nonsense. Because it's just uh, sending signal down to the ground. And uh, when I check on this uh, pin, uh, it's uh, putting out only 1.1 uh, 1 volt, I think. About 1.1, 1 1.05 1 uh, something. Close to 1 volt. And uh, I was thinking, uh, I'm sure it's not supposed to be just 1 volt. Because the input right here is 3.3 volts. The sense circuit is 3.3. And the output right here, it should output 3.3. Supposed to be connected to this. It's going like going back. So if it's like this is 3.3 and it's being pulled down by a resistor, it should at least be like 3 volts. Because this is 100k, 3.3, right? So, and it's putting out only one volt. That's why I decided to replace this chip, and it works. So, this chip is the culprit, but now I still don't have any lights on the charger. But anyway, the MacBook is working again. We tested it. I just don't have the lights on the charger. I just need to like look at that one again. See? Fan is spinning. Still don't have any lights on the charger. As you can see, no lights on the charger. Big down. That means that CPU is uh, working fine, and I just need to wait for the backlight or the image to appear. I don't have the SSD. The SSD is uh, actually still right here, and also the uh, I think the the Wi-Fi is so fucked up that uh, I won't be able to use it. But uh, I'll, I'll check that one out also. And oh, I think we're going to have some problems with the backlight. Also, I need to recheck the backlight because uh, the image is uh, actually presenting itself, but uh, I saw it flickering earlier. But uh, anyway, it's working now. I just have to clean up, uh, clean everything up, and then. Reassemble it. Oh, not yet, because uh, I need to check on the charging light. So probably after cleaning it, it will appear again. Okay, and uh, I hope uh, you learned something as well. Thank you for watching.